Hello there, folks, and welcome to another Let's Get On With It short. I'm Grimith, and this is SimCity 4 Deluxe Edition, brought to us all for at least one hour by Jamie Yerbury as part of the rewarding the rewarders opportunity I offered last year. I was able to edit the shortcut and get this to display in a 1920 by 1080 resolution, but my recorder didn't like what I did with the 11-year-old game, so I settled for one of the standard resolutions. I think it's 1280 by 1024. <laughs> I have no idea how you two players going to treat that. We'll see together. Also, interesting cloud formation. I'm not quite sure what to make of this. I've spent a several hundred hours combined over the years playing SimCity, uh, the original one, but ported to the Super Nintendo, SimCity 2000 on the computer, and SimCity 3000 and 3000 Unlimited. I've at best spent a dozen hours playing SimCity 4. Uh, I think the last time I played it was my freshman year of college. I didn't much like the game. I went back to playing 3000 Unlimited. I didn't like the design of it. Uh, I suppose I could do something more detailed, but I figure I'll just leave it at that. And anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I have the New York region loaded. Uh, no city start on this one. I didn't feel like creating my own region since I didn't think I was going to play this game for very long. And uh, we'll start here in that interesting cloud covered area. And I don't think I want to use any of the god mode tools. If I did, then uh, I would have created my own region. We'll just uh, leave things as balmy and peaceful as they already are. I suppose I can add some wildlife, but nah, I'll just let it go. Now, how in the world do I start this? All right, I'll just click that. We'll call this city name. Let's uh, do something completely inspiring. You totally want to move here. Called Necropolis. Uh, the mayor name. It's known as, uh, well, the ladies call me, oh god. No, we'll just go with Grimoth. You'll not be able to use the god terraforming tools or change your city's difficulty level once a city is established. I actually went through the tutorial again before recording this. Uh, it took about a half hour just to refamiliarize myself with the controls and concepts. It really has been a long time, and I never played it that often. Ah, uh, we'll do medium difficulty, whatever. We'll go ahead and get started like so. We're going to have a fireworks go off in the trees. That's probably not a problem. I'm sure everything's okay. Okay. So, now that I've all been tutorialized, Captain, playing this game should be a complete cinch, right? Also, why don't we build all styles at once? And we'll throw in all the styles. Yeah. How to use those rush hour features. Got some advisors who'd probably tell me all sorts of cool, crazy things. I don't have any time for that. There is no time. I wonder if there's a way to get that grid, the the grid to uh, display by default. Because I do like the grid being on. I'm gonna start doing all sorts of crazy counting things that I shouldn't be doing. It's gonna be wonderful. Now, how big do I want to build this thing? Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, folks. Oh, the hell was that? Uh, I, I, I was holding down the shift key and... Oh, that removes the streets. Control does that too. My god. I feel as if I have gained incredible knowledge just by pressing a button. And I don't know what's happening there. Is it like suggesting like a city block size for me? Because that's interesting. I didn't know that could be a thing. Okay, I'll build that. Why not? It's at the edge of the world, but we'll have those residents live at the edge of the world, and no one's allowed to live by the water. Not yet. That's for big people. So, let's go ahead and give it some space. Gotta get let it breathe. I 
That should be good. Yes, yes, the zone is too small. Uh, I didn't want to build that. I actually wanted to build medium density. Don't have time for farms. Oh, fuck it, I'm done with spacing. We pick here. And you auto-suggest a size anyway. Well, that's cool. I like it. Tell me more about how awesome you are. Well, that'll be fine for me. And we'll build a higher density road in between these. Uh, we might actually just go ahead and make it an avenue. Not the best alignment. Hmm. Well, the city needs a little bit of flavor anyway, am I right? Absolutely. And we probably need to build a road to get on the avenue? Or did I just not do it right? Avenue. Keep going? There you go. Yeah, screw it. We'll just build into the residential area. It'll be perfectly fine. No one will care. And we should build a commercial zone, low density. Uh, we'll decorate this region. Yeah, that street looks cool. Flavor. <laughs> I like how I stopped caring about uh, all sorts of grid sizes and things. I'll leave that behind in the the older sim games. I like to do that sometimes, at least in the initial steady start setup. But uh, I'm not going to be playing this game for long enough to utilize all of the space for me to care about proper things like sizes and like, we gotta we gotta have some flavor, some spice in life and stuff. And I suppose I should build a power plant, huh? Probably. Hmm, I want to build one of those ugly polluters. Yeah, I'll build a polluter. We'll put it right there. Okay, that should be everything I need. Let's go ahead and get this barney started. I should probably uh, speed this up a bit, though. There we go. Got some fluctuation here. Yeah. Construction's happening. I can make this disappear. We've got some monthly expenses because we don't have anyone living here. Also, I like day and night. And watch this grow for a bit. I have one of those damn uh, you drive admissions. I don't feel like doing any of those right now and I think I can make those icons disappear. So turn off those mission indicators. I'm not interested in doing any of those. But thanks anyway. Alright, monthly income is still lower than uh, monthly expenses. It's alright. I can uh, get my city moving by meeting people. Uh, one of the reasons why I dislike this game, uh, its design choices, is that uh, I have less connection and less fun with uh, the SimCity 4 advisors over the, uh, the SimCity uh, 3000 Unlimited advisors. They had a lot of flavor and fun associated with them, and uh, some people did find that annoying. But uh, I enjoyed it. Anyway, we have lots of advisors who are going to tell us wonderful things about our lives and how amazing we are. Also, that text is so tiny. No one has time to read that. There's not enough time. Alright. Utilities. The power is costing us a lot of money. Uh, we definitely do need to zone at least enough residential to... Well, cover the cost of the power. So why don't we do that? We'll just have some fun and zone ourselves a lot of uh, low-density residential areas. And not efficient or effective street placement, but we're not going for efficiency. We're not robots. Gotta have some fun. And we have an RCI meter. There might be viewers who are unfamiliar with the concepts of SimCity. RCI demand. Uh, demand for residential zones, commercial zones, or industrial zones. Need power. Need roads, obviously. In SimCity 4, 
It'll auto-build streets for you uh, whenever you lay down zones, but you can obviously disable that feature. Uh, we don't need to worry about uh, things like water yet. That's only if we want to go above a low density. Uh, poor shanties and ramshackle houses and projects and shit. Uh, it's basically for whenever you cover the map and want to start building up instead of out, because you no longer have the room to go out. Utilities-wise, I don't think you have to worry about garbage either in this version. And all these other things, like police stations and everything. Ah, it's not a big concern right now. We'll build our fire station when we have our first fire, and I didn't turn off the disasters, so I expect those to be on. Alright, still not earning enough money. Uh, we currently have no demand for anything right now, except for agricultural industry, apparently. So I guess I can do that. No. I'm not caving in. You can't make me. No farms. Oh, cities invite mayor to pull up a chair and settle in. Now that our population has surpassed 500, the residents of Necropolis open their arms to you. We don't know what to consider that you may be going elsewhere, so here's your opportunity to put down real root. Build yourself a mayor's mansion and slip your shoes off after work hours, of course. Yeah, sure, I'll accept it. I don't know whether I... Oh, what the hell. Let's build it here. Yeah. I'm styling, bitches. Query tool. Number of uninvited guests. Ooh, I think that improved the land value a little bit around there. So that's cool. Got myself a house. Alright, monthly income is now uh, now incredibly high. Now, there was a whole bit of a traffic incident there, so why don't we take a look at that. Sim Smolder for station. Oh yeah, yeah, fire station. You're lacking your lifespan. The healthcare shucks. Uh, squandered power. Check and see if any neighbors have power shortages, because you could sell your power to them. But I don't have any neighbors. So there you go. Now, there's a traffic thing that I should probably look at. And that's to see whether we've got a... Uh... Ah, this. Because it connects these two zones. In a manner of speaking, is probably uh, overused as well. I didn't do a great job of separating these two zones, and now we have this moment. Especially since there appears to have been a car accident, which is a great sign that you need to widen roads. Well, we'll solve this problem. I said... Looks really ugly. It's okay. It adds flavor and charm to life. Traffic jam. Rah, rah, rah. That street. Yep, well, we should have that taken care of. I suppose I could have just added a road rather than an avenue. Because that does look ugly. Not my problem. I don't live here. Not my problem. I live over there. Alright. Well, we're in the we're in the net positives, folks. We can just keep earning money and relaxing and loving our lives. Because that's what people do. They relax and love their lives. Also, because I see no problem with it at all, why not, uh... Just build around the power station, sure. And maybe a road to connect this? There we go. That, that street's really ugly. It's pretty ugly. You, actually. Oh, no, I can't erase that. Okay. New plan. Wasted money. That's my plan. Wasting my money. It's a good plan, isn't it? Okay. We do that from there to there. It's gonna erase one of my super cool buildings. We'll get over it. Now, the problem is that, uh, 
All these bastards want to take little side streets to get to my thoroughfare here. Uh, I didn't properly separate the zones so that there'd only be one avenue going between the two for no problem. So they're going to take every which way because they're sims and they love to piss me off. Because that's what sims do, piss people off. Anyway, that's a faster road construction than you'll ever see in your lifetime. We're actually going to get rid of that intersection. And, uh, everything's fine. We'll do some... Maybe... Hmm. Yeah, it's a problem. I thought that would happen. No, uh, no car transportation availability. We're going to throw away all these houses. And... We're gonna we're gonna sob profusely. I need the D zone option. Where's my D zone option? D zone. D zone. I know it's in here somewhere. Hmm. There. Get rid of that. We need to line you up with a. Uh... Sure, that'll work. Okay, we had another car accident there. That means that the road, well, the street in that instance is just too insufficient to handle the demands. Demands. So, uh, we'll length that a little bit. Obviously, you're a bit bitchy. You don't have any house, you don't have any access. Life hates you. You want to die in a fire. So we're remodeling already. There. I like it. Are you having any more problems? Probably. You'll find a way to have problems and upset me, I'm sure. Because that's what you do. You're Sims. Always so bitchy and complaining. Never knows what they want or need. We need some more residential, though. Let's, uh, let's get to work on that. I like residential. So... Let's build a network of residential carrying us all the way to the magic land full of wonder and gumdrops and lollipops. Like that. Look at those small city blocks. Slit your wrists. In anger and anguish. Slit them. Good. <laughs> okay. And we'll have another avenue lead down from here. And then we'll connect to this because we're sorcerers, like so. Uh huh. Fantastic. And we should probably speed up the game a bit more. Lovely nightlife. Lovely, lovely money. With these later games. Uh, well, obviously there's a much newer SimCity out right now. But with SimCity 4, uh, it's amusing in that, uh, you don't have to build, you know, water pumps, police stations, fire stations, health clinics. Just build stuff and people move in and don't really have to worry about amenities and you can just make money without taking care of them at all. It's amusing. It's like Sims are always so desperate Despite all of their complaining. <laughs> we could do with speeding up the game a lot more. Although the game time, there we go. Yes, yes, traffic jam. Blah, 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 blah. Wire. Where is the tra- <sighs> You people. You're so useless. Well, we'll widen out the road. And I'm sure you'll find some other way to complain about that me because you're Sims. You always just whine about life. And you can never handle it. It's always such a burden. Where? Oh, yes, of course. Basically, you just want me to replace all of the streets in my entire city with roads in order for you to be satisfied. That's what it is. You know it. No Sims. Ah, well, 
Suppose we need something to do. No, I don't want to create a connection to Sim Nation. Sim Nation is dumb. No one loves them. Big rewards for connecting big picture. Alright, fine. Yeah, I'll make connections to my non-existent neighbors. Sure. I agree. That's a great idea and will vastly improve our... Oh no, there's a fire! Damn it. Fine, I'll build a fire station. You've sold me, and I am convinced. Verily, you have defeated me with your... stuff. <laughs> we'll build it there. And that'll be good enough coverage, and I should probably dispatch you. Fire dispatch, put you... there? Oh no! Because it was in the ring, I think, uh... I think you already took care of that. Fantastic. Yeah, but I'm not building that. I'll accept it, but I'm not building that. You're out of your mind. $2,000 a month. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I'm going to do. Spend $2,000 a month on that. Nope. Okay. It's an intersection. Intersections are evil. That's always been the case, though. It's kind of what they do. And I could build other forms of mass transit. Sure. Let's create a connection. Doesn't actually cost me any money in this game. Hmm. Didn't realize that. Well, all the same, we have our connections. Basically, the, the game really does just want me to replace all my streets with roads. That's the only way the gods can be appeased. It's the only way. Right. Yes, yes, I'm sure. You hate life. Lack of public water limits growth? That's okay, because we're only doing low density. It's not a problem for me. Suppose it is. Like, I live here. Ah, we won't think about that too much. And look, despite uh, not a, uh, really giving the city any amenities, we're still making oodles of cash. It's great. This is how you acquire profit, everyone. You just don't give the people anything and they move in anyway. Also, there is trash disposal. Grimmett didn't remember. Oh well. Also, not my problem. <laughs> Looks like uh, there's a demand for more residential. We can make that happen. Isn't that right? You want to try to keep some distance between residential and industrial, but you don't want the distance to be too vast. Otherwise, there's a problem, people get upset, they have to drive forever to get to work. That's kind of what's happening here. But it's okay. They'll get over it. Not a whole lot of distance. It's okay. They'll get over it. It's the moral of the story. That it sounds like a personal problem. I really like this whole, like, I just stay hovered over a thing for a few seconds and it just auto suggest. Well, that was pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb. Yeah, like designs my neighborhoods for me. This is great. And they're as stupid as the Sims are themselves. I love it. I love stupidity. That's what I get up every morning for, stupidity. Woo, we're awesome. Yes, party at my house. Look at it. The majesty. The wonder. Camelot. Isn't that right, computer? Computer's a little uppity because of the recording. Clearly the fireworks are also taxing the processor. It's exactly what's happening, I'm sure. Spending my budget! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
this, but at least traffic's great. Uh, I could talk to the advisors. But why would I? Lights on everybody's home, public safety advisor, necropolis slacking on school tally, i.e. we have no schools. Pavement don't breathe. Pavement don't breathe. Okay. Build more parks. Ah, oh, we got plenty of trees around here. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Graphs. Where's desirability at? RCI demand is also not that bad to look at. It's probably in one of these map displays. Data views. Desirability. But no one really wants to live around here. At least not the wealthy people. That's because we have uh, pollution right there. That's dirty industry. Uh, we can get rid of the dirty industry by uh, getting some schools and colleges. Well, some education in, in mind. It'll attract uh, smarter and more wealthy citizens. Uh, which will in turn attract uh, smarter and more wealthy businesses. But at least poor people want to live everywhere. Medium is like... Looks pretty ugly over there. Can't blame him. Alright, the manufacturing industry wants to move to a lot of places too, but high tech is like... Eh. Doesn't see th these areas of residential shit as too bad. But even they have requirements. Now, uh, commercial services... They're not so, uh, not so requiring. Also... We only have some minor crime. It's not a big deal. It's just some car theft, some fighting. It adds character. <laughs> adds character. <laughs> I like it. We're gonna stick with that. It adds character. Oh, is there anything else I wanted to do? City ordinances. What does this game have for ordinances? Hmm. In a very compact, aggravating window. That's nice. So we can institute expenses to try to improve life. And I don't care about that. We can take out a loan. Government budget paying $30 per month for my house. Damn it, it's important. No regrets. I also think I'm paying full price. I definitely am paying full price for my for my fire department. I could probably cut down the budget for that a little bit. I can micro that. I don't care about the th furnace. Stupid furnace. Yeah. Yeah. We'll pay them. Sure. Hmm. Looks like these, uh, these zones over here didn't quite do it all right. They're kind of pointed in a bad spot. Facing matters for zones in this game. Which, uh, I do believe was the first SimCity to care about facing. Unless there's some magical SimCity between 3000 Unlimited and 4 that I'm unaware of, or 3000 Unlimited cares about facing and I just don't remember. sound of electricity going through the house. Exciting. Just like this. Just like this moment with us. Together. Always. Might as well save the city. Probably gonna break the video here. Yeah. Coming up next time. I don't know. We'll find something to do. Make some mischief happen. Do I really need to break the video if I just plan on doing like a short... I did this with Age of Wonders. Just kidding, I'm not gonna break the video at all. Ha ha! I'll just make it really aggravating to upload. Alright. Let's get some more industry in here. On the case. I say the zone will be this big. The zone is too large. Must construct additional pylons. How about like that? Is that cool? And we change these... No? 
No, it's that weird avenue bend that does it, huh? Yeah, it's kind of ugly. I concur with all of these observations. Yeah, I'll make this better. Yeah, it's a four-way avenue. Traffic will come out the ass. You can also do, uh, wonderful things like build toll booths and crap on your roads to help, uh, subsidize uh, all of your major transportation projects, but... Eh. It's okay. I won't, uh, I won't institute any toll booth nonsense. And you could just place three toll booths. Basically guarding the residential from the industrial so that they have to interact with the toll booths. It's marvelous. But there's no need for that. No need. How about we get another avenue running from... Here? To there. I'll create a T. Got rid of some houses along the way. The rewards of being neighborly. Well, oiled city is a thing of beauty, but left in isolation, you're the best. Uh, I don't want to. No. No, you can't make me. Can't make me. <laughs> I do what I want. That's a. Uh, it's another one of the design choices I dislike. The. Uh, SimCity 4 emphasizes a network of smaller cities on a larger map. As opposed to, uh, you know, just like a massively independent, you know, incredibly sized city with limited neighborhood connections. Uh, I just don't want to spend the time making a bunch of different cities interacting together. Some people do. They uh, enjoy that aspect of the game. They like it. Um, it's not me. Which is why I haven't invested that much time in SimCity 4. Suppose if I did break the video, I could check to see whether the sound values, values are alright. Just to make sure that everything's recording alright. I mean, you did several tests, but something could go wrong. It's happened before. Eh, that would require me to care. I don't know, you not wasting your time sounds like it should be important. Eh. I'm gonna keep talking about this. I guess to ease my own superstitious concerns, I will break the video.